questions. Now then. Tyler. Last night, you made a concerted effort to keep watch in the night, to listen, to look, and try and see if you could catch any glimpse of what has been happening to the guards, these attacks, these murders. The result of your role was ca- uh, The result of your watch was rolled for. You got a 19. During your watch, you heard a scuffle coming from the east side of town, this area. Upon making your way over to investigate, you spied several large people dispersing quickly into town, carrying bloodied clubs, wearing ragged coverings to obscure identities. Seems you arrived shortly after whatever was happening had already resolved. You spied one moving slower than the others, the size of a hobbit, and they proved the easiest to follow. You elected to follow them all the way back to wherever they were going. <clears throat> and they led you to the docks, where you saw them discard their coverings and club into the water. With your 19, you were easily able to identify the hobbit in question amidst the dark of night, thanks to your dark vision and being alert. And you recognized Kit, the hobbit. Kit darted off off before you had a chance <clears throat> to say or do anything further, and disappeared amidst the warehouses and supplies littering the piers. As the sun has risen, you made your way back to the scene to see exactly what was happening. And upon arrival, several guards have already located the bodies. From this rooftop, you are hidden. Tossing, turning all night. More good men. Oh, this looks like what happened. Standing here, Mark. Beaten and tortured. It's not hard to tell. These men were beaten and brutalized. Rolling. With a critical one, you discern no additional details. It's just a bloody savage scene. I'll leave this to you and your capable hands. Mm. Thank you, Mr. Markle. Rolling. Well, your guys are. With an 18. Hours yeah. From what you can see from here of the bodies, the it looks like a rush job. They're not quite as thoroughly beaten up, they were killed. But from what you can tell, as though the culprits were pressed for time, the presence of these guards already being here tells you what you need to know. These guards were likely making their way to this area, and the assailants were forced to scatter. I could be but a moment. Mr. Farmer! What do you think, Fenton? Like I said, connected to the killings, but I don't know who. Um, I? Morning, Mr. Marco. Is there a reason on your on my roof? Is that your roof? Yeah. Forgive me, I slept up there last night. Hmm. Something I can help you with. You don't have any, like, dark energies following you or anything, right? The fuck is that supposed to mean? I don't know. That's why I'm asking you. I don't think I do. You said you slept up there last night, right? Correct, yes. Did you see what happened over there? I did not, know. 
I heard some stuff, but, uh... There's two dead men. Hmm. More guards. Guards? Yeah. It's a shame. These are the good ones, too. Mm. If it was the Capitano's man, it would be a different story, but this is your sad. What is the man that this morning you were looking for, Perk? Yeah. Well, at least they are targeting uh, the guards. More guards are dead today. Apparently something happened last night. Capitano's <coughs> men or... Good no. Guards. Some of the good ones by the sound of things. <sighs> Great. <sighs> right outside your shop, that would get you some business. Markle, with a 16, you would know either through direct conversation or hearsay that every instance of guards murdered in the past few days outside of the uprising have all been custode guards. Should I be worried about these dark energy bullshits you're talking about? If you, if you don't have anything that, that of that nature, then no. Sounds like it's none of my business. Just, uh... Well, I just wanted to make sure you weren't bringing that business to my door. It's... <laughs> no. No, I tend to stay away from that shit as far as I can. <clears throat> Actually, I might have business with you. I know it was uh, a couple of weeks ago, but I remember you and your, uh, what is it, your fucking cousin? Uh, mentioning uh, you had this device, it was like a, a quill, though it ran out of no ink. Do you still have that in the stock? Not in stock. Bugger. Is there a way you could get one? Well, I mean, it's I have it still. I just took it out of my inventory. Oh. I've been using it far too often. I see. Well, if you ever end up wanting to sell it again, come and find me. I may want to purchase it. Mm, it's a very handy thing. I could let go of it for about 50 silver, but... You look like I made the 50 silver, Mr. Markle. Well, that's my price. Well, if I ever get that money, I will come back to you. Until then. All right. Have a safe day. Enjoy. Hopefully. Good morning. It's Avatar, huh? Pleasure to see you again. Good morning. I got the uh, stuff for you. Sure. Lead the way. After, uh, we speak somewhere else. So. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Have you uh, been this? Past, past couple days, huh? Very busy. I was uh, working hard on this uh, Capitano thing. Glad it's over now. I have a little bit of downtime in between uh, tasks. Hi. I only have proper guards now. I'm glad you uh, were kept safe at least during all of it. I heard a few uh, civilians Hi. got in the way as well. I was worried. 
Yeah, I tried my best to stay away from all that. You know, there are a bunch of uh, good men who died there, though. On the side of the castle there. No sacrifice, no victory. That's what they say. Exactly. Mm hmm. At least the town is better now. Mm hmm. Anyhow. So. <clears throat> On the coastline, I've seen it from a distance. There's been a, there's been a few small boats up and down here. So small mm, sailboats. It's as if they're looking for something. I tried to get a better look, but uh, as soon as I got out, they started backing out. I couldn't see any, you know, sails or any symbols or any of that. But there is a supposed word, some sort of pirate lord from Blackrock. He's gathering in Blackrock. In the merchant ship that came before the blockade. Told this to me the day before yesterday. Do you have a name for this pirate lord? Hmm. Afraid not, other than his title. And just know he's gathering in Blackrock. I see. <clears throat> Pirates in Blackrock are uh, a common occurrence, but to have someone gathering them. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Yet another faction enters the fold. Aye. <clears throat> that is all I have for you. Oh. Thank you. I'm a little uh, short on uh, coin right now, but as soon as I get some together, I'll be sure to get it to you. I hope you can trust me in this. Don't fret. Yeah, I will trust you, of course. Thank you. You stay safe, okay? Uh, yeah, you have a good day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You too. Write that down, write that down! <sighs> That's the bitch that blew up my forge! Get her! Their guards. Ah, more guards murdered. Oh, that's great. Yeah. That's There's two murdered. <sighs> what landed yesterday or a couple days ago? I know one yesterday. Good morning, Miss Torty. Hope you're having a good day. There's been uh, more event than I would have liked. Oh, you wouldn't have to be uh, knowledgeable about the thing near uh, where I live, do you? Two more guards got murdered last night, apparently. Oh, shit. I stepped out and there was a whole swarm of them and I kind of freaked out and I was like, okay, bye, and then I walked on. 
Oh, yeah. These are uh, some of the good ones. Would not worry. It seems to be these people are targeting guards anyway. Though, I would always oh. uh, work with a friend at nighttime, just in case. Yeah, probably a best. <laughs> Excuse me, Miss Toti. Of course. Oh, God. Oh? Okay, I'm gonna try with you. Uh, as of right now, where I am currently getting low again, um, getting low. <clears throat> My fucking hand keeps like moving, it's so rough. Just give me a simple one, this is the first time trying it. Is it a simple one? Okay. Yes. Yeah, I saw that, but I was like, wait, that's not a Uh, you said that there's a keyhole. Yes, there's a keyhole. It should be behind my head. Alright, gentlemen, I'm going to go on patrol, I don't know about the patrol route. Be impossible to try and forge a key by the name of the big Timica mold. I'm afraid locksmithing isn't my forte, lass. But uh, <coughs> um, <sighs> it's all right. I understand. I can figure something out. Thank you for your time. I would suggest that you're going to try find something to. Never mind then. <sighs> Bit of an odd request that, but well. Go on. Looking to remove that jewellery piece of hers, the one with all the chains attached. <laughs> but they look so good on her. I take it there's some bad blood there. He was one of the people responsible for blowing up the forge back in Adwork. Directly. I see. Between you and me, at the time, it. she was an Imperial spy, so I don't exactly trust her. Even more so. Interesting. I see. Might not be the case either still, but you'll forgive me if I hold a grudge. Not much of a, an attempt to oh, even apologize. I do not. I do not fault you in the slightest. <laughs> a forge is sacred to smiths among my people, and to destroy it is a direct insult to both the owner and those that work there. So, I'll be honest, I'm less inclined to help her at this point. To be fair, it was supposedly an accident, but nonetheless. I highly doubt. Lad, I have no idea what exactly happened, but when uh, we left, when I saw the fortune that state, That's not something you can do accidentally. Well, I mean, she wasn't the person to, you know, light the fuse or anything, but she basically put it out there to people who had 
the ability, well, okay. People were looking for money. She said she didn't have the money. She said she hid it in the forge to these people. And they were like, okay, we'll just fucking explode the forge then and look for it. So by her telling them that kind of put us under the radar. Regardless, no apology, no remorse. Nope. No service, plain and simple. Works for me. I'll <clears throat> leave that. I would have left that to you, to be honest. <laughs> if anyone could have helped her, it would have been you. Yep. I hear you with a bit more nimble fingers. Yep. <laughs> well, if she wants my help, she can fucking ask for it. I gotta do my morning run. I'll be back in, I don't know, 20 minutes or so. By all means, I'll be here. I may venture to the market to sell something, but other than that, I'll be about. <laughs> Stay safe, Master Dowie. Busy morning. Legit, JK's got it. Kyla, for Kyla, it's less about, you know, she did this and I'm never going to forgive her. It's, it's like, she did this and if it was an accident, I mean, she could fucking apologize to him or talk to him about it, but she just shies away. So he's like, well, then you're not sorry. <laughs> Charge a Rexa for removing the chain. <laughs> I don't know, Kyle's still deciding if he even wants to do it. <clears throat> if Sarah asks him, he probably will, but. Now that she's free. What if Cade asks? <laughs> Cade was one of the other people responsible. <laughs> Cade's made an effort though. He could talk to Marco, though Marco hasn't Interacted with Sevatar. <clears throat> Marco's interacted with Kylo with a hood. <laughs> Do 
The issue is that um, this, he doesn't want to do it vigilante style, but he doesn't want to have the guards go off half cocked. <clears throat> So he's going to gather a bit more information before he acts on it first. He needs proof to... In fact, I'll show you the... Uh... Bam! There you go. Objective. Stop the killing of the guards. Parameters. No vigilante justice. At least seven people. Clubs. Ragged clothes. One can be identified as Kit the Hobbit. Purple scarf. Current moves. Identify members. Find proof. That was his little bookie book that he was writing in. <clears throat> Oh, fucking hell. <clears throat> Maybe I'll sever tire it up a little bit and find Marco. I could at least tell them that they're in like a group of at least seven. Look at this shit. Look at my hand just fucking wigging out like that. I don't know what's doing it. Is it you? Are you the issue? I don't think so, but... <clears throat> my, my headset's just slowly breaking over time. I do not have the money to replace it right now. <laughs> so... We're gonna suffer a little bit, I think. <laughs> Mr. Marco! I have some news for you. <laughs> Hello there. Awkward hand. Yeah, I don't know what it is. I got good visuals and stuff. Maybe I need to like, clean the lenses or something. I'll do that after today's session, I think. <clears throat> Have you seen uh, Morden? Uh, he was by the forge earlier. Yeah, that was like 15 now, minutes so. ago. He said he might go to the marketplace to sell something. Other than that, no idea. Alright, well, I didn't check the marketplace, so I didn't even think to look. Thanks, Shariq. Of course. Have you seen the long beard? The long beard? Morden? Oh. Well, I most certainly did. I, I saw him over there in the blacksmith. I I and then I <laughs> I'm getting some like really bad frames today for some reason. <clears throat> I wonder if they did some up dates on the map.
my husband were here, he'd... Yeah, that's not the point. <laughs> All right. There was <laughs> one more. Bring oh. pieces, man. Huh? These are my pieces. How long? What were the gods asking you? I uh, had about some cloaked guy in the morning. I shall ask him. Oh, 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 Hi. Uh, Let me see if I can get some Hello. sanitizers and boards of cloth and shit. Yeah, good morning. We knows tardies. We do. Huh? It means Buenos good morning. Boy, knows that. Well, just say that. Why'd you say it like that? I'm trying to find know, something yeah. new. <laughs> it's right. He's learning new language. Like, for example, uh -huh. uh, tu ves tu gross mother. That's drow language. I know that. Spasiva. I don't know what that is. <laughs> That's all. You know what? I, I don't know what you're talking about anyway, so I'm just going to walk away. Enjoy your draw conversation. I'm going to ask you something. Please tell me you don't need leather work. So I'm thinking of huh? getting, I'm thinking of building this big leather tapestry. <laughs> I'll cry. I have two leathers to my name. We should no hides. Kill some animals. Do you have a rabbit? You know, I would. Okay. So Lexington is not for consumption or hidery. What about anger management? The what place? Kinda. I let them sit on my chest and I pet them and then he lets me get oh, calm. I was so. thinking more of those Kinda. toys that people fill with sand that you can squeeze really hard and then. No, no, no! Why would you do that? Anger no. management. Mm, don't gotta, do that to Sir Lexington. I gotta talk to you about something though. Oh, okay. Mm. Come on in, close the door. What do you mean you don't have any fucking hides? <laughs> you see all of those? Those are... Decoration pieces. <laughs> if, if they're not there! We get the same thing at the blacksmith, don't worry. Um, right. Okay. <laughs> Man, you can't even afford to, like, put down the floor of your fucking house. No, I need this like this because when I take hides out and I go, ch -ch -ch, I, I spray it all right here before I put it there. I need some gross dirt that can absorb all of the gross stuff. <laughs> So I should, uh... Yeah, so you're fine. <clears throat> yeah, you should. Well, then. Right there is the super danger zone. That is the in zone. And then these are the safety areas. Yeah. Right. Okay. Um. <clears throat> Word of the day. Okay. I've heard some shit, and I was wondering if you could shed some light on it. Go for it. Whose tea am I spelling? Person in Blackrock. Person in Blackrock. There is apparently whispers of a pirate lord gathering people together in Blackrock. Black know anything about that? I heard about that, yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Uh... You know that guy that you don't want to talk around or drink around? Sure, yeah. He is planning on uh, learning more about that, I guess. Mm. Um, I don't know many details, I'll be honest. Okay. And I also don't know how much I'm supposed to share. So, what do you mean how much you're supposed to share? 
Well, you know how everyone is like, don't tell anyone else I'll kill you? He didn't do that, so I don't know if I'm allowed to talk. Or did he threaten me and I'm just so used to it and I forget now? I, I, I don't know if I'm not... Yeah, you know? Are you, like, choosing his loyalty over ours right now? Is that what's happening to Orti? No. No, I guess you're right. It doesn't really affect you guys, so, like, that's why I wasn't, like, telling you... I guess. Well, again, it doesn't like... fucking change much, but there's also been um, little sailboats going up and down the river looking for something, apparently. Oh. No idea what, though. That. That might be captain and first mate. How many captains do you have? Mm. No, not my captain. The captain of the, you know, the Marauder. Which one's the Marauder? There was rumors. <sighs> Those people. The people that, uh, took me. Ah, uh, right. I see. Yeah. They were, as far as I understood the note, they were supposed to come to Nautis within a few days to find somebody and get the final location of where a bunch of treasure was buried, right? And I've been keeping an ear out, waiting to hear if, you know, they came riding in or something, but... I don't know. Figure this is in your wheelhouse and that you should know. If I hear anything else, I'll fill you in, because, you know, we do that trust thing. Yeah, 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 for sure. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Of course. <sighs> <sighs> How's your morning been? Fuck. Uh, uneventful. Woke up, uh, stepped outside, bunch of guards looking over a dead guard body right outside my door, so I fuck off. I have two leathers to my name, despite the appearances, so I, eh, you know. Uh, at some point, I have to go to the hunter's uh, camp to see if I can just buy hides there because the hunters that come in are like, Oh, sorry, no hides for you because I got a wolf pelt for some random fucker just because he wants aesthetics. Love it. <clears throat> yep. Well, if you want to take a it's trip like and you want company, let me know. My orders. If I'm free, I'll come with you. Oh, yes, please. Yeah. Heck yeah. I was just moseying about until I saw the hunters and see what they brought me, and then I was gonna head out. So, I love your company. Yeah, come and find me when you do it. If I'm around, I'll come. Heck yeah. How bad is it if Captain and First Mate come and find you? Well, they could come in and claim that I'm their slave. And then I'm fucked. Hmm, and Completely. what's our actions on for that? Our actions? Depends how cool the guards are. And I don't know. Well, um, they certainly don't like if pirates. If it does come to that. Yeah, yeah, they don't. And I don't know the actions beyond that. But I do know that I have a gold saved away. Just for the occasion, in case I need to get the bot. So if that does happen, I'll tell you where it is. And then buy me back, okay? Yeah, works for me. All right, cool. All Thank right. you. Stay safe. Let me know if you need anything. Well, do. All right. Just the man I figured out I needed to see. Old. Yes. Right. What do you congratulations. need? Congratulations. I'm glad you noticed. All right. Uh. Will it do me a favor, or I can pay you for it, yeah. depending on you? Right, sorry. <clears throat> sorry anyway, about that, uh, the weather we've been having, huh? Yeah, 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 it's crazy weather. Oh. What, you, you, what are you staring at? Why don't you draw a painting? It'll last longer. Well, take it to the tavern and I'll pay you later like I usually do these days anyway. Get shit to do. <laughs> okay, what do you need? This fucking guy. Uh, okay, so this is gonna sound kind... Keep walking! Eddie, do you want me to take that away from you? That was a rhetorical question. Keep walking. Keep walking. Why are you still standing there? This fucking guy, I tell you what. Okay. Really stupid. 
kind of so since I saw you like unlock my door the other day, I kind of figured you could actually do something like this. It's it's a really stupid thing. Can you like pick a lock and like get a chain off somebody that doesn't have the key anymore? Depends on who it is. I could pay you if that's if they're you know redheaded. I have a bit of an aversion to it. Uh oh, so she wasn't really. Is it that bad? She blew up my fucking forge. Okay, that oh, sounds yeah. How like can I help a you? huh? Sorry, I came in at a very bad time. What yes, uh, that I, I I honestly don't know. So, good morning, Lottie. How are you? <clears throat> I have a receipt for you. For me. For your father. <laughs> the fuck happened? What? Why? <clears throat> you see, at a full receipt, an imperial medical receipt that states advanced healing <laughs> potion the fuck? used. Why, why are you so much? Sterile stitching used. And then at the bottom, 12 silver. 14 silver, sorry. Did you need, really need the advertisement in the middle? Two silver from 16 silver. Because it says shield repairs, and she motions to her back. Medical supplies are not cheap. I think you're being fleeced. What are you gonna do? Unmedical him? Quite honestly. No. <laughs> <laughs> I will take out those. Speaking of. Yeah, I, I know. Take out yeah, your stitches, I know. Lethal woman. I know. I was gonna Otherwise, come see you start today. burning. Mm -hmm. So yeah. whenever you're ready. See. All right. No, I'll okay. finish this conversation. I'll take it to the forge. I'll pay you. Okay. And then you can... Yeah, absolutely. Finish conversation. <clears throat> okay, so I have the distinct memory that your forge has never exploded. Not this one. Okay, longer story than I was really prepared for. So, that's a hard no. Well, she can, you know, come to apologize to me, maybe, and I will consider it. But until then... She's just been kind of shy. Uh, I don't even think she'd oh. accept my help at this point, honestly. So you should work that out first. Right. Well, I mean, she seemed kind of like just desperate to have the chain off. So not desperate enough okay. to talk well, to yeah, me. I'll, when I'll I approached her, she walked away. So yeah, okay. figure that one out. Well, that's yeah, fair, fair point. Okay. Well, yeah, never mind then. Women. Interesting. <clears throat> yeah, the worst. Okay. Can't live with them. Can't keep them alive, I guess. <laughs> oh, God. Mr. Dredge, I assume you've been waiting a little bit. How can I help? Apologies. Uh, just waiting to see if Tazim shows up. Yeah, well, <laughs> good luck. Wanted to speak with him. Sure. I'll, if I see him, I'll let him know that you're here. All right. <clears throat> All right, Miss Ladia. Okay. What is this? Advanced healing potion? Uh huh. And that is how much? Bandages used, basics used, everything on the receipt comes to 14 silver. I will knock it down from the 16 silver if you can repair my shield, which has minor damage. Mm -hmm. Kind of feel like you're fleecing me here, but. Nope. Unfortunately, your father had two bolts in him and then needed stitching and then an advanced potion to heal all three of his really egregious wounds. When was this? I know he makes out to be nothing. The Capitana. When we went to grab him. You just fuck me. And now I see why you wanted to come with us. Marin? 
have your fucking money. No, but it's good you have me there because no one died. Would you take this off me then? Well, I don't do shield work, but I can give it to Morden and he can. Whoever can. Yeah. At the earliest convenience. Okay. Let me take that out of the forge fund real quick. 14, Chet. you said? Chet and sit down wherever. That is correct. 14 silver. Not the amount of times I've heard that. Okay. Fucking. I don't want to know. <laughs> I'll tell you in great detail. <laughs> hey, there he is. He's not going to be happy. It's me like, but what about the 30 silver you got from the slave money? Unfortunately, you got fucking 30 silver? It goes to... <laughs> Don't worry about it. Oh, God. Yeah, I felt them kind of like <sighs> pull and snap work yet. when I was fighting as well, and I, I didn't bother to talk about it, so... I'm sure it's fine, right? Well, it's inflamed, but not... Does it burn? A little bit. But that's like normal, isn't it? Because they're like pulling the skin so tight. Not if it's inflamed. It means it's minor infection, but as long as it's not rotting from the outside in, it's fine. I don't think so. <sighs> All right. Takes out a scalpel. Good morning. God, move your sword. This is all for me. No children. That stings a bit. But you feel it stinging, yes? Because if you didn't, then I'd be very worried. Yeah, no. There was like some like yellowy green stuff that I just pulled out, and ow. And, uh, and I think it's fine now. All done. Now to right. scar very nicely, and you will owe your model maker twenty dollars. I do my own <laughs> scars. Thank you very much. Ooh! All right, he does his own scars. Thank you, Ladia. And that is free. Whenever oh. you take out stitches, and I don't charge for that. That's just. I was expecting a, a ten silver fucking Thank supercharge or whatever, because it's a public holiday or some shit. Uh, yeah, it was Labor Day yesterday, so I need. We don't we don't do that here, in the Underdark. <laughs> underdark? You mean the Underdark? Down Underdark. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Thank you. You're a survivor. You survived this long for a reason. So will I thank you for the kind words. Don't forget your own capability. I'm not. It's just. Opportunities are hard to come by. So I'm thanking you for giving me the one. I'm glad I could be of service. So, uh... You also said that the... When we talked about this first, that the Carter's Guild might... Or people... Uh, who run the carts might hire me on to protect them, but so far no one's done that. Wondering if I haven't done enough. The biggest enough. thing is Nolta's. She has to allow it. I could talk to Hala tomorrow, who owns the Carter's Guild, and get you on something the next day. We have a friendship like that. But Nolta's has to allow it. That's the biggest bump in the road. Nolzus... Nolzus is already <clears throat> willing. She tells me that if anyone wants, I direct them to her. But no one's come to me. Then let me talk to Hala. We'll get you a contract tomorrow. I Easy. don't think Hala likes me all that much, but thank you. Well, see, here's the thing. Hala likes me. So let me talk to her. Listen, if you do your job... Which is protect these wagons or caravans. Doesn't matter if Hala likes you or not. 
You're giving a service that someone else might not be able to. You have worth. You're providing something that they can't do themselves. Which means they need you. If you make yourself needed, especially to someone who can't do what you do, it makes you important, which means it's good to keep you alive and happy. People want to work with you more. But you always have to be aware of someone who might try to use that to their own advantage. It's why I listen to my gut on those things, but yeah. I'm sure I'm preaching to the choir. I uh, appreciate it all. Wish I had more of a way to thank you for all this, but uh... Then how about a drink between friends? Uh, I've been trying to get you to join me in a drink. Fosses you a wine skin. <laughs> As you wish. <laughs> to my friend Orcs Bay Salud. his continued life. Salute. To the <laughs> you want to join in the salute, Sharik, or are you just going to stand there? <laughs> I'm out. Wallflower. It's uh, supposedly I bad you. luck. Did you drink my old glass <laughs> already? You said to polish it off for you. <laughs> salute. <laughs> The fuck, Torty? Um, <coughs> what? That's the same stuff! Hylathian Spice! I can eat back washes a lot. That's what it is. No, you could fucking I clean rust not. with that. <laughs> it's the same thing I gave Tazim. <sighs> Strong as shit. Yeah. Good way to start <laughs> the day. Oh, yeah. Good way to start, and then enjoy, and then end. Fucking drunk. Well, in the very least, the way things are now, it doesn't seem like anyone is hunting after yourself and knows us. So that whole saga seems to be over with. I hope that comes mm, at least some sort of relief. It is. It's good to not have a target on my back at the moment. I'm sure it'll come back eventually. We didn't get everyone on the list, but they left. So. Trust me. I know all about living with a target on your back. Mm. So what's next for you? Uh, for me? Not sure. I know down the line, I'm going going to end up facing Saravo in one way or another, but that's probably not for, for a long while. Same with Prova Campioni. I have to make it to my first uh, exhibition, and that's not going to happen until after Robert Baron has uh, cleared up some roads. It is true. That puts everyone in the province's plans on hold. While he's doing whatever it is he's doing. And it doesn't have help that Sawtooth has blockaded our ports. We're not getting anything from the sea, either. We're going to... We're going to starve if we don't figure something out. Well, that's neither here nor there. We have at the front door. To that. I won't be oh. able to get. All right. Uh, oh, like, no. Oh. Hi. Hi. Is, uh, I'll does he answer your Yes. I'm gonna. No worries. Right. Uh, is it okay if this guy comes into? Is he young uh, enough for you? you? Who, who are you? It's a. Ah. He's uh. A... You know. Just call him my bodyguard or something. Yeah. Me. You don't need a bodyguard. Come on. Both of you. Uh, 
My friend, you stick out like a and sore I... thumb. And I tried sneaking away once and got caught later in Cassetto one time. Sure, so that leaves yeah, because of that. The prova of finding Going... someone with enough gold to make a change. Pretty much. And I don't exactly like the gambit of having a new master. Might be too hard to hide the body. And at that point, I just end up in the Redod's hand anyway. And they'll probably just put you in one of the mines. I don't think you want that. Yep. No. So, best no bet for visitors. getting out of... Mm. Well, you requested to, to see me today. Well, there are homeless guy here. Zilla, I'd speak to you eventually. A homeless guy? Who's the a homeless guy? Uh -huh. <laughs> the, 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 she's, she's been working on a new one for a while. It's 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 a tricky piece. You it's, say uh, that every time I see you, and every time you look worse than the people make, who live in the Especially when it's something more fancy looking. They don't, you do dress made me an outfit in the sure. time it took. Well, yeah, yeah, I, I get it. I get it. And you know, it's it's. You dress like it's, a mug. I mean. Yeah. It's practical, it breathes well on the road, if it gets dusty. I'm curious it's about your farmer's town that you've got going on. I want you to know. Literal, literal rags, what are you talking about? Kid, I want you to know, I was... I've been able to get an outfit made for me in the time it took for you to still dress It's like a very nice person. one, it's supposed to be a, a replica of... A, a, <laughs> Don't I was profiled it. one time. I was arrested. Once oh, profiled? I, I wonder profiled. what that fucking feels like. Oh, that must be really bad for you, human. This is... No, 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 no. Let's, 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 so here's what they said. They were looking for a man with a hood who had a sword that looked <clears throat> good for him. Yeah, yeah, I mean, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I get it, I get it, but fuck! That's, that's a fine piece. That's a fine piece of <laughs> right Not bad. Yeah. The guards mm. uh, let me catch that bounty in looking for a man with a red gem sword. Ah, uh, yeah. Mm. <coughs> I've never understood why people needed gaudy pommels. Hmm. <sighs> Yeah, it's... Technically, this wasn't mine. I ended up with it. Yeah. You were there. Um, good. <sighs> I'm sorry for the miscommunication. At length, at some point, when you're not busy, we need to plan out what how we're going to... Mm. ...speak to a mem. Is that happening we today? an audience today. Bugger. <sighs> that will give us a day. Right. Okay. Fed well, um, word of the keepers that both he and I have heard is that the Redards have officially declared open war on the robber baron's insurrection. Conflict mm. is inevitable. I mm. need him to acknowledge me so I can speak on his counsel because his actions are rash. He does not have the men or the coin. I understand that he wants to go down with his ship, but some of us would like to make sure the ship doesn't go down at all. We need to look for help. <clears throat> right. Well, I have a few ideas about that, but uh, probably takes some more time, unfortunately. Um, so we, yes, we can talk about that later when you're not uh, busy. Mm. More pressing things. Uh, well, we're in here as, as it is. There's a, another matter at hand that uh, has the potential to be a very uncomfortable ask. You've done those uh, back to back. I'm sure you're not going to do another. Well, no, I'm really uh, thinking I shouldn't. I mean, I wouldn't qualify it as dangerous, only tense. Depending on what I've heard, if it's all through, which Hence uncomfortable. it probably is. So, I, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I honestly didn't want to put myself in the middle of it, but I felt obligated to do so. Spit it out. <sighs> the red-haired slave, the former one of the Marquis, she needs that thing off her neck. She lost the key, and well, 
Who knows Lux other than you two, huh? <clears throat> you would ask me to take chains off of the woman who almost got myself and my company killed. Yes, I did hear a bit about that, and it is a bit knock, presumptuous, knock. I grant you. <sighs> you have the gall to come in here and to ask me to do that, knowing she almost cost us everything. You know what? You handle that. I'll go handle this while you... Yeah, you <clears throat> Well, at the very least, the information she gave us did keep us from getting caught by the Capitana before we could pull everything off. Shilbrook, the only reason why I have not killed her is because how you have begged. I'm aware. That's the only reason. And even that is barely enough for me. Hmm. I don't know if you're in Should short supply of... Up. <clears throat> you don't mean, mean to have a look at it with my, uh, expertise? Get the forge warmed up. You got it. You should be Not able to keep the chain. The break the tension, but, um, Lady Nozos is outside looking for... The Apothecary. Hmm. Okay. my property. I'll be out in a couple seconds, you guys. I, I had a question. She's been here for a lot longer than a few seconds. So, uh, the wood craftsman over there, I don't know, he's not there, but does you know who how to work this place? I have an idea for something to be made. I want to get a quote on a on a price for it. Are you talking about being woodworkers? Then I saw someone to be made the way. Yeah, I got. He's not there, but I want to get this under see if there's anything that you could do with metal. If the inverse is going with metal or stone, but so we can get a quote on it. Depends on what you need. No, it's usually busy around here. here but so okay, here's the idea I had. Okay, silences. this is gonna be purely therapeutic for me. So when I go to draw my mace. I want a cyl cylindrical uh, thing with a flat bottom, and when I go pull it, I want to make a poof so oh. sound coming out of it. Like, it. Poof. Oh. Where is it? The metal probably just before I can have that noise. Wouldn't give the. Uh... It won't resonate that well, but I wanted to see if it would, would be feasible for her to do it. She's. I think wood your best bet, maybe pad it with it, something. Thank you. Away, my lady. Probably. Thank you, Kelly. You have a good day. You got it. Next time I'm just barging in. Oh, speaking oh. about Pardon. Sif. Well, here I go <clears throat> again. Oh, mind, if, mind if I give you something? Shriek. Um, I want to ask you a question again. Um, did you say it was uh, you needed four oh, ingots? Cool. F I mean, four ore for ingot or five ore? Four. four designs. Hmm. I was going to ask Shriek when you weren't, uh... Okay, then, thank you. ...legs... ...for... <sighs> ...Tolly. Can I... How much would it cost to get three uh, ingots smelted? I'll bring you the... I'll get the ore brought over. Um, it's 40 copper per, so... What is that, 80, uh, um, one silver 20 I'll for three of them? I'll see what I can do if I can't grab them on. But, uh, Write that down. I was going to ask. larger pieces today and leave the precision for tomorrow when he's likely to be around. I can Ready to go? It would be appreciated. Get your arm out, get her back then. A decent amount of material in order to get started. But there you go. only if you ever felt like working. Uh, I feel like eating. 
I'm so I'll probably work. Uh, what do you mean you feel like okay? That's the only way Have I can you? eat is by doing my job. Ah, you've developed the skill of work eating. Here's your silver. Okay. And I'll have them, I'll have them bring sorry, you the... Well, actually, the ore would be around back with all our supplies would be stacking the over there anyways. So it, it would be back there. So you want three ingots? We need to get out of one of the boxes. Mouth, running to the yes, what you said would be... <laughs> yeah. Wealth ore? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Okay, that, to be fair, that is a funny... Okay, ore... Never mind. But yeah, and that will leave me labor costs be paid. No. Two ores in the box. I needed a laugh, but not at your expense. It's all right. In terms I'll of labor stuff. cost, I'll. All right, cool. That leaves me to two ores at some point. All right, I'll do. I'll we'll try and get some more later. Don't worry about it. I'll do the labor. I've got plenty of coin. Let me get this there done for you, so Thank you and Aiden can work on the rest of them. Have you seen more than you were? Only in the morning, and then he's uh, vanished. <clears throat> he might be up at the uh, keep. I need to talk to grandfather. Yeah. Oh, Watch his heart. Tools are ready. No. I'm gonna be working on something else at some point today as well. Okay. Do you need something, Miss Venora? I got it handled. Uh, yes, I told him to. Yeah, I told him just take 12 ores out of one of my boxes book. back there to get him smoking the three ingots. I, <laughs> I went and paid him for it. Okay. Don't so you don't worry. need me. I won't sell it unless you uh, well, me Well, we can the next have a private days. conversation if you want. Just talk to me every single day. Already until <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I will try. Well, how much do you still owe for that? 50 copper. By the way, Venora, okay. Morden wants to talk to you when he's back. Fuck. Fuck. I'll let her know. Thank you. Uh, oh, I heard my name. It's St. Clifford. Quick. What is it? What is it? <laughs> Ignore that. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> uh, my okay. hand fell off. It's fine. The, Gordon wants to talk to you when he gets the back to for the brand. It has to do with the trees surrounding the quarry. Oh, okay. Mm. Right. It's a fairly simple sketch, but it appears to be that of a oh, rabbit clutching some, something in its mouth. Oh. Looks like ah. some grain. <laughs> and then a phoenix rising from a rabbit I, with a I sword in its mouth. Bloody hell, that's um... Okay. It can be simplified for the for the purpose of being brand, but... <clears throat> yeah, I might have to simplify it. I'm not that great with the smaller things. You might have to talk to a jewelry maker for some of the smaller details, but if you don't mind it being a lot simpler, I can do it. That's fine. Okay. Um, it's just to get... It's just a seal of... It's a seal of quality. Let them know that I approve of the barrel. Sure. Um, for that, it'd be about three silver. Alright, so I'll get it to you once that yeah. silver vein gets the okay. upfront payment to me. Rand. Okay. I'll go ahead and do that. Thank you. No problem. And thank you as well. Of course. You appear to be better. Hmm? It looks like you're being judged at the moment. What else is fucking new? What do you need? Your brain. Specifically, your knowledge of pricing and resource consumption for particular items. Oh. Don't. You didn't mean like... Okay, sure. No, I didn't mean actually. If I wanted your brain brain, I would just kind of reach out and... What do you need, buddy? <clears throat> so, can you tell me... How much iron ingots you need for? Oi, oi, oi. Arena fight starting up soon. Get ready to bet some coin. I'm gonna ignore that for now. Medium iron miscellaneous. Medium iron miscellaneous is two iron ingots or eight iron ore. Okay. What about uh, iron precision? I'm assuming one. Uh, iron. Precision. It varies depending on what it is, apparently. 
fuck. Well, we'll figure that out tomorrow. Yep. But it's good that I have at least the portion for the medium iron. Now, what about combat boots? Do you make those? No. Armoring uh, metallic would Torty be Morden, or Torty herself would make the leather ones, yes. Okay. What about iron miscellaneous? I'm assuming it needs buckles. Uh, yeah, one iron ingot. Or small iron miscellaneous. Perfect. You might even have more iron than you actually need for the project. Okay. We have a little leftover too, I, so if that if precision gets a little already, expensive, we can help out. Yeah, if you didn't know this already, a while ago I had Marcus open up your stocks and I put in just about every single scrap of iron I've been able to collect for the past couple of days inside of him. Uh, you should, you should have, tell uh, me that. If you don't have that listed down, I I can give you the numbers now. Let's do it. How about that? Let's do it. All right. Let me just go back in equipment and ability updates and give you the good old important numbers. 59.2 iron ore. Scrolly, scrolly, fuck you. Scrolly, scrolly, scroll. You now obtain two broken long swords capable of being smelted down, four iron miscellaneous, Hold on. and four iron ingots equivalent in scrap metal. Two long swords, what was it? Four iron miscellaneous, just, I would assume, a whole bunch of buckles and fasteners. Mm -hmm. And four iron ingots equivalent in scrap metal. Okay, and are we putting this aside for you? Yes. Any excess you, you can take for whatever projects you have else going. Okay, well, but unless we've done your stuff, then... Until... Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Whatever so, authority is free again, I'll go ahead and figure it out. All right. Thanks, Tang. For the combat boots, at least. I'm building legs. You could. It takes a lot. Uh, we could use these iron mists as buckles when she asks for them, so I'll just keep them aside for that. Rather than smelting yeah, them down to turn them into you. iron misc. Anyway. Yeah. Like I said, let's work for you. Sure. Ooh. I mean, mm. buckles are buckles. Hmm. Alright. Is that all? Anyway. Uh, yeah, that's about it. I have no money to pay for anything else. Well, when you do, come and find us. Yes, I'm still curious about a steel sword. How can I help? How much would it take to make a one-handed steel axe? A one-handed steel axe, A. Let's see. Um, steel. Um, money-wise, it would be nine silver. Yeah. All right. And how much steel would it take? Two steel ingots. And how much would it take to use this steel mace for it? Uh, that would give me one back. Mm. I see, I see. I mean, if you have steel on you now... Could give you the maze. Um, we don't really have the iron to put into steel just at the moment since we haven't been getting any in. It's very expensive, very costly to do right now. All right, what about a steel dagger knife? We can do that with one steel ingot. One, I guess. Yep. That would be seven silver. Well, uh, could it be bumped down because I'm providing the steel? Mm, yeah, we could do that. Uh, is that that's material costs? 
Better put it down to five silver. Uh, for silver fifty. I can't haggle right now. Steel prices are too high. Uh, all right, it's fine. All right. Yeah. Uh, so one steel dagger. Yeah. I'll get working Make on that Make sure now. it's uh, single-edged. Yeah, uh, I can do that. Good. Yeah. And uh, it will take how many days to forge it? Let me check. Uh, one day. So come back midday tomorrow. That should be done. Perfect. Talk for you. Hello. Hello. Here for a sharpening. Uh-huh. Uh, sorry, I'm just adding this and stuff. Is there, certain, is there a certain reason why there's a man full plate on the side of your building? Which building? On oh, which side? On your far left. <laughs> Yeah, I think so. Sherik. Shilbrook. Ah. Uh, I've brought the chain in question. Mm hmm. He's uh, inside just talking to uh, Miss Venora. I suppose then he'll be the one doing it instead of yourself. Anybody. Seems like he has an idea of how he wants to handle this, so. That's. How much? Yeah, call it even for today. Oh, that's. not concerning in the slightest. Well, I did offer to use my talents, but he didn't seem interested, so. He has a. a way. He, he wants to do this? You, you know what that sounds like, right? He so, told me to heat up the forge and get the tools ready. I'll let him know you're okay. here. Where have you been the past couple days? Second thoughts? Tracking. Uh, sorry, what? Second thoughts? I'm guessing whatever you think might be left. I, I just... I'm reasonably worried. Will you allow me to help? I think that's fair. No. Marco, how can I help? This is my war. So my only friend is going to leave me. Oh. Love that. Can I help you? I'm not going to observe where to go. No. Ah, sorry. The board is blocked. Well, I see you. I want to see you take this thing off. I don't think I'm going to be doing it. Oh, right, it's a show. Love it. Hi. Thank you. I hope you understand why oh, I say this, and um, it's not just throwing Shrek. around threats. Did you... There's a method to the madness. Let, I'll let you know, remember, I still have that spider skull no, for sale I, for you, okay? I know. Whenever you want to buy it. Yeah, when I get money, I'll okay. buy it. I'm fucking broke right now. Do you like know a lot of stuff? <laughs> and captains tend to know other okay. people a lot better. Especially not me. I can't even talk to hobbits, you know, so I trust you. Knock knock. Sir Brooker being a knight. I'm not interrupting, am I? No. Is me overcoming my own struggle towards Imperials in general? Do you understand? 
Yeah. We're not all the same just because of what we look like or the dogma we came from. Some people call you cursed or a monster. We do not. Everyone's different. Have a little patience. Protect yourself if necessary. But you go through every channel first, myself, or if you have a problem with them, you tell my son. Hi. Thank you. Not Vezrin Morgul, please. No, of course not. Like, he, I know he's not the smartest. So yeah. Should probably fill him in a little bit, and I'm sure he'll give you his version of things. Shilbrook's here, with uh, his chain. Great. Yeah. You want me to talk to Tordy? Have a plan to get me out of jail if necessary. Yes, talk to her. What's up with you, little pirate? <laughs> Not you too. <sighs> what? <laughs> What's wrong, Tordy? Long, long story short. Uh... Marcus snapped at Vez yesterday. Vez brought up the very real concern that uh, if somebody, some homeless man, wandered into one of Marcus's traps and died, he would hang. Mar Marcus took that, grabbed him by the collars, and said, if anyone should hang, it's you. Obviously bringing up a lot of history. I get the gist of it. I understand it. There's a lot of tension and everything. But he uh, was very quick to snap at the both of us again. This would be his second time slipping his facade as he put it himself. So I brought the concern up. I'm not supposed to do anything. I'm not even supposed to smash my bottle over his head if he threatens me again, despite, you know, that is what me and Marcus agreed is, you know, fitting punishment. So I won't be doing that, but yeah. You'd be playing into his hands then? I'm giving him a reason to yeah, exactly. hate you. No, um, it seems right. Come to us, come to him. I, I mean, fuck, I don't know how many more chances we can give him. He's kind of on the edge for me too, if I'm honest, but... We have to believe that these people can change for Tizim's own good. So... Yeah. <sighs> but that's a long and short of it. I'm trying to bridge the gap between him and everyone else, but uh, he keeps lashing out like this. I, I mean, I don't know how much else I can play politics. Yeah. I'm not so good at the speaking thing, especially to people that already hate me. Yeah. I think you're doing good. That night that we all sat in his house and talked, I think, was really good. You know? But then he does stuff like oh, this where he just I thought everything snaps, was good. Right? Yeah, no, I understand. Yeah. Anyway, want to go get some heights? Uh, in a bit, I need to kind of watch her with a forge. I think Tazim's gonna murder a woman. All right, I'll watch too, yeah. and then we can, and then we can go. We'll go together. <clears throat> Mr. Crenshaw. Arguably, you want one of the most Hello there. Am I interrupted? No, just shooting the shit. We're just finishing. <clears throat> mm. I came up here to describe a couple of books. That was all. Of course, come on, Tori. Excuse me. I will tell you now mm. that you leave. I'll, uh, I'll grab my armor now so that we can just walk out when that happens, you know, just in case. The grove is not Perfect. The first danger. <clears throat> we who are here are. You also promised me that you would not run. Now I respect here and I understand where his fear comes from. <clears throat> He's a good elf with a good heart. But he does not dictate what you do with your growth. Now, if you turned and said to me this was your decision, there was nothing I could say about it. 
No, I would I wish you well. I... I would argue against it. No. But in the end, it is your choice. No, Arn, I've always told him, I said, if there's a danger where we know all hope is lost, yes, I'm not stupid. <clears throat> I won't stick around if all hope is lost. I would leave. It's just, to stay, to die, that would be such a waste of my life and so much good I could do if I could run. But, as it currently stands, the immediate danger we don't know of yet. I just, I don't know, I just wanted to get your opinion. I would situation. tell you to remind Tyr that it was not just Wood Elves that protected the Grove. It was not just Wood Elves that have come to the aid of the Grove many times over. In Ledford, in Adwick, and now here. And you know it to be true. So perhaps if you flee, you might find somewhere safe. No, I'm tired. I'm sure there isn't. So are we. It's why we're choosing here to make our stand and put down our foundations. I do not think I can stop the sh ships from coming into the shore. A mem has been terribly angry because of the robber baron's actions and has refused audiences two days in a row now. I need him to acknowledge my request so I can find myself on his council and help dictate what happens in this province. As it stands, as of today, Gerbaum is my witness. The Radar dynasty has declared open war on the robber baron's insurrection. The fighting will begin, and soon, I'm sure. Sawtooth blocks our ports, so we have no ships coming in and out. That means no goods nor food coming in or out. The robber baron blocks the northern road. That means no goods or food. Most of this province's food came from the Trident farmlands. Oh we will begin to starve. I do not think we can stop the Imperium from landing because the manpower is needed. And for me to tell the baron to trust me and to hamstring him of the only force he has. <laughs> well, that's the quick, quickest way to get myself seen out the door, I think. No, I understand that. The Inquisition, I don't fear themselves. It's that Inquisitor that I fear the most. Especially if they have information of what we did. And what to look for. You have spent all this time, Faye, preparing the Grove. Training your elves. Learning the landscape. Just to run. I'm not asking you to die for me. But I'm asking you to realize that if you leave the people whose lives that you have saved over and over and over and over and over again, will lose that lifeline. And they will perish. In the grove, we have that dummy put together, finally. Whenever Good. you and Shariq and anybody else that is willing to train wood elves, it is there. The palisade is complete. We can come there once an evening. And do so. I know that you do not wish for any harm to your forest. But oil and fire goes a long way in sieges. It would not hurt to have some. In case they try to put ladders to your walls. Yeah, I do have oil already made. Good. A few barrels of that would not hurt. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure what else you can do. If you found me a good deal of iron, I could make caltrops. Stops any sort of cavalry or close formations of infantry from moving together. The small, several-sided spikes... 
If you step on it, it'll go right through your foot or the horses. Makes it very hard to approach a fortification that way. Or you put them in places your defenses are weakest and funnel the enemy to where you want them. How much does it take to make one of those contraptions? I would assume that they're all small miscellaneous. They don't need to be big. But if you want the circumference...